Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. An open letter from Clintel to world leaders. Fight virus, not carbon. Your Excellencies, a lesson in humility. Unpredictable natural forces change the world. Today, the world is in the middle of a serious health crisis. Today, the people of the world face a true emergency a health crisis in the form of the COVID-19 pandemic. People need an inspiring narrative that promises them a hopeful future. Today, for instance, it's totally inappropriate that the billion dollar Green New Deal focused on climate is still on the agenda of leaders such as Mr. Antonio Guterres of the UN and Mr. Franz Timmermans of the UU. Your Excellencies, compared to the COVID-19, climate change is a non-problem. It's based on computer models and it looks far into the future. In the current health emergency, however, your attention to the people's needs is today. Please don't continue pushing your zero carbon emissions ambition in a time that the world is dealing with a deadly global crisis. Yes, there is an emergency, but it's not the climate. While courageous doctors and nurses are saving many lives, climate alarmists and climate critics should stop fighting, step over their own shadow, and work together against this deadly virus. In this difficult time, humility suits us all. World leaders, please show us the way. And as the very first step, designated Green New Deal money must be redirected and invested in a significantly better global health system. In such a renovation process, don't exclude critical professionals. History tells us that a pandemic like COVID-19 will happen again. At least we must be better prepared. Zero carbon emission, impossible and undesirable. The past 150 years show that affordable and reliable energy is the key to public health, sanitation, education, and prosperity. The past 150 years also show that more CO2 is beneficial for nature, greening the earth and increasing the yield of crops. Why do world leaders ignore these hard facts? Why do world leaders do the opposite with their Green New Deal? and lower the quality of life by forcing high-cost, dubious, low-carbon energy technologies upon their citizens. COVID-19 combined with zero carbon, an unforgivable mistake. Today, billions of public monies need to be spent to avoid mass bankruptcies and to get the economy on its feet again after we have left the COVID-19 pandemic behind us. Clintel's strong advice to world leaders is to revive the global economy. Don't further increase government debts. Instead, apply the money intended for your costly Green New Deal to the present needs of people and society. Call it the COVID-19 recovery plan. And be aware that in today's crisis, the conjectural policy of CO2 reduction is highly counterproductive. Clintel's advice for the future Fight virus, not carbon. The world is moving to an open global economy of 10 billion people. Top priority must be given to significant investments in a global health system that makes any pandemic less catastrophic. Considering COVID-19, climate alarmists and climate critics should admit that global warming is a non-problem. Therefore, stop fighting. Step over your own shadow and work together against the deadly virus. In this tough battle, we need each other. Your Excellencies, be responsible to the people and stop immediately with the Green New Deal plans. These plans would push the global economy into an even deeper recession. Please, don't spend billions of dollars on subsidizing dubious, low-carbon energy technologies and mass deforesting projects for biomass fuel while thousands of people are dying. Use these designated billions of dollars to improve the global health system on our planet. In Clintel's COVID-19 recovery plan, 
We also suggest to issue bonds to invest in a top global monitoring system that informs experts about early changes in group health all over the world. Yours sincerely, Clint Health's Global Ambassadors. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.